In just six weeks, the polls are set to open for voters to cast ballots in this year's midterm primary elections. But the maps that define and represent Ohio communities in the state house and in Congress remain in dispute and are currently in the hands of the Ohio Supreme Court. Mark Namick has an update on Election Day and the potential fallout of further delays. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose touting an apprentice program today for veterans run by the sheet metal workers while keeping tabs on the state's election drama. I was on the phone with the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections just this morning. They made great progress over the weekend, actually just on the phone with the Franklin County Board of Elections as well. But our job is to make sure that the boards are ready. We gave them about three months of work to do and only a month to do it. The days of rigging state and congressional maps in favor of one party, a process known as gerrymandering, were supposed to be over. That's because voters backed a set of reforms, including a state constitutional amendment setting new guidelines on how officials draw maps following updated census figures, all meant to take partisanship out of the process. The work of drawing maps is enormously complex. It's also inherently political process. But the Ohio Supreme Court has ruled initial maps were unconstitutional because they favored the Republican Party, which currently controls the process. LaRose and Governor Mike DeWine, both Republicans, had a hand in the map making. The newest maps sit before the court. A decision could come at any moment. It sets up a decision for the legislature to make. Now, of course, I believe that the maps that were enacted were constitutional. Um, the court gets to make that decision if they choose, or the court may do nothing. Fair election advocates argue even the latest set of maps are too partisan. If the court agrees with them, the legislature will have to move the primary. LaRose says it can move it back or hold two primaries, one now for those statewide races and one later for district races after maps are finalized. Russ? Oh, the clock moving fast here. Okay, Mark Namick in the newsroom. Thank you.